Hi everyone, this video is on drawing histograms with equal clause intervals. Let us uh, use an example to draw a histogram. The question states, a group of students were asked to complete a 50-piece jigsaw puzzle. The time taken for each student to complete the jigsaw puzzle was recorded in minutes below. Now we have a frequency table over here. These histograms are drawn for continuous data only. So time is an example of continuous data because it could take here, I mean, the times are written as inequalities from uh, zero to five minutes. And over here, the time is greater than zero. That means it cannot be zero minutes. It can be greater than zero minutes but it can be less than or equal to five minutes. Over here, the time can be greater than five minutes. It cannot be equal to five minutes because there is no equal to sign in the inequality there. So the time has to be greater than five minutes, but it can be less than or equal to 10 minutes. And over here, time can be 10 minutes. Sorry, it cannot be 10 minutes. It can be greater than 10 minutes but it can be equal to 15 or anything in between 10 and 15 and so on. And so this is an example of continuous data and histograms are typically drawn for continuous data. So the first step is I need to figure out what my axes will look like. I Before drawing any histograms, the first step is to check the class intervals because there is a different kind of histogram uh, that gets drawn for class intervals of unequal widths. So over here, the class interval is roughly five minutes. It's five minutes here, it's five minutes here, it's five minutes here, it's five minutes here, it's five minutes here. The way I did that is five minus zero is five, 10 minus five is five, 15 minus 10 is five, 20 minus 15 is five, 25 minus 20 is five, 30 minus 25 is 5. So all of the class intervals are of an equal width. Okay, so from 0 to 30, so I need to have 30 on my x-axis. Um, the class intervals will be represented on the x-axis. And on the y-axis, we will have frequency. Now, the largest frequency is 32 in this case. So I'm going to go up in 5s. When I do that and uh, my x-axis, I can also go up in fives. So let's start off drawing the histogram. The axes first. And that's my x-axis. And this will go up in fives. And uh, the last value is 30 seconds and I need to write what this represents. That's time. In minutes. Okay. And my Y axis will be frequency. So I'm going to go up in fives. I'm just going to turn my paper around, write down frequency. Okay, 
so as I can see on the table so from 0 to 5 minutes so that's 0 to 5 that's the width of my bar the first one for the histogram the frequency is only 3 so I'm going to go up 1 2 and 3 Now for the next one, from 5 to 10, that's 5 to 10, the frequency is 18. So 18, that's 20, so that's 19, and that's 18. For the next one, 10 to 15, the frequency is 32. Oh, there we have 32 next one the frequency is 26 so the 25 is there so 26 is one above uh, from 20 to 25 the frequency is 11 just there and the last one from 25 to 30 uh, the frequency is 4 so just below 5 here we go and that's it and there we go we've drawn our histogram it should